Okay. So, <laughs> hey everybody, Scott, hey. Greg, and Dan. Uh, it's dark in here. Scott, Scott's got, oh, hi. Scott's got his head inside the 40 inch refractor. Get your head out of the Get your head out of the I thought the that telescope. was like a little hat or something. So, <laughs> so we've, we've just watched the front cleaning of the uh, optics. Uh, what an experience it's been moving the scope up and down. Uh, but this little hatch is very interesting. They uh, use this to uh, inspect the inside optics mm -hmm. and, and to, to do lots of different things to the inside of the tube. Uh, tell us what, it, what, what all you do, do with this Well, the, it came in very handy last fall when we needed to clean the backside of the flint, right. which is the second lens in the telescope. It's the concave, double concave lens. Instead of the only other way to, to clean the inside of the flint is to get inside the tube. And there's a there's a porthole up in the in the middle of the oh scope connected to the the RA uh, shaft, and that that allows someone to climb inside and then sh you know work their way it, back. It looks here. like there's even a handle inside of there. Yeah. Uh, kind of, uh, well, like a rail. Or there's conduit for electrical. Electrical. Oh, so you it's, really don't want to hold on to that part. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's what that's for. But. Yeah. Um, this is an alternative method for actually getting the backside of the flint, since some of us are not. Yeah, we can't get in the tube. Uh, we're, we <laughs> can't. Uh, uh, we can't quite slip through that hole yeah. anymore. So mm. this is an alternative way of getting uh, to the flint. Yeah, there's also a little baffle system that, that opens and closes just between this area. They're smaller. Pull oh, down the optics or something. Well, now what that does is it's kind of like a collar. It opens up armholes, yeah. so then we mm -hmm. can work on either the yeah. front of the flint or the back side of the crown, gotcha. the front lens, okay. so that's the way that, and in fact last fall when the, when the optics were clean, that's exactly yeah. how that was So there's done. an eight inch gap, I, I don't know if that's eight inch, my wife would question that I'm sure, but <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there is a gap between the can flint and the that? crown, can you yeah. and we can it's, do that. Yeah, can you yeah. 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 Everyone would not believe it, so it wouldn't matter. <laughs> they don't know what, you, don't, you guys don't know what we're talking yeah, about, we, right? We, exactly. yeah. Scratch yeah. that, forget, forget we said that. Okay. But this is spectacular, guys. I mean, this is a, really, a, to me, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And if you've never come to this observatory, <laughs> you, need you to. have Gotta got come to do this. Here. The tour is spectacular. The, the, the uh, building is spectacular. The scopes are spectacular. Even the gift shop is spectacular. And so you Dan is spectacular, This guy too. is yeah. the man. So. That's right. The best, the best of all. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so look, keep following us. We'll yep. see you again soon. Take yep. care. Bye. Bye.